Hi Capricorn, Power of Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading for the first half of July and I hope you guys are all doing well here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget your Moon Rising and Venus videos. You can check your chart out over at CafeAstrology.com. In case you want to watch those videos, right, it's going to paint a far more uh, clearer picture for you about your situation. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for all the support so far on the channel. And let's get into the reading, all right? Um, the bottom of the deck was the, beg your pardon, the bottom of the deck was the, what was it? It was the Hierophant in the reverse, okay. So I feel like you're, you know, you're going through a breakup here. Something's super difficult. Uh, there could be maybe a feeling of somebody not wanting to kind of go along with the show or maybe a non-conformist, right? Somebody who kind of like, you know, they kind of uh, don't believe in maybe traditional values, something like that. But I feel like this is more about a breakup, okay? Something that's not going well here. And I have pulled from the bottom of the tarot deck, Capricorn, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Cups. The Knight of Swords in this deck, Capricorn, is about drama, okay? So I am looking at your reading and there's it's clear that there's drama here, okay? Queen of Wands is here with the King of Cups. I feel like there's a water sign who's involved in your life in some way, Capricorn. There could also be a fire sign, right? Excuse me, Aries, Leo, or Sag here. Um, but let's get into the reading and we are going to find out. Excuse me. Your current energy or your overall energy, Sagittarius. Excuse me. Not Sagittarius, the Capricorn. Six of Wands in the reverse. So, you know, I feel like you're not feeling confident about something. Yeah, you're lacking, you could be lacking courage in a situation, but I feel like this is about confidence. Um, and you could just be feeling like you couldn't get victory in a situation. Seven of Cups in the reverse with the Two of Pentacles because somebody's juggling here, okay? This could be you, though. Maybe, right? Um, you know. But also, this could be, you know... <coughs> I also feel like there's no confusion in the situation, right? There's not. You're like, well, you know, this is clear to me here. The challenge for you is the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So there could be third-party energy off the bat here. Uh, sorry about that, Capricorn. Um, there could definitely be. Um, but I feel like, you know, you could be trying to work it out with somebody and, and have, you know, get your equal share, right, in a situation Fair and share, uh, however they say, fair and square, rather, okay? <laughs> or equal exchange, right? Like a balance. You could, you know, maybe that could be the case here, okay? Now, why it's all happening is the world card, the nine of cups, the moon and the ace of cups. You're ending a cycle, Capricorn. Um, you're beginning a new one, that's clear. And it does have to do with something that you really want here with the nine of cups here. The moon card is here with the ace of cups. So as I mentioned, you guys could be dealing with a, a Pisces or a Cancer here with the King of Cups showing up in the reading over there or showing up with those, you know, with uh, the Angel Tarot here. Um, I feel like you're definitely beginning a new cycle here with somebody. Uh, yeah, or I feel like you're ending one, right? You're ending one and you are beginning a new cycle. Um... But I feel like this, there could be a secret here because, you know, you're over here, you're lacking confidence here. Uh, you know, Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, somebody's juggling here. Um, yeah, okay. So, you know, this could also be about a secret here, but let's find out because the world card can be an ending and a new beginning, right? Which is what it usually is here. Um, there could be lessons learned here, right? This can be also, you know, wow, I've learned a lot here. In this situation, uh, you could have learned a lot in a situation because there could be a secret here as well. And it, I feel like it's clear to you now, whatever this is, secret or no secret here, uh, you are clear about it with the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Okay. In the past, we have the Page of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. So you could have been thinking about maybe leaving somebody out in the cold, uh, maybe, and maybe you were resisting it here. But I feel like you were, you know, I feel like you were uh, feeling like super overwhelmed here, maybe, and defensive about leaving somebody out in the past, right, or somebody out in the cold, rather. Um, 
you could just be, yeah, you could be seriously, even in the past, overwhelmed about doing that, okay? You could also have been, in the past, maybe resisting that somebody leave you out. Yeah, that could be the case here, okay? Let's go on over here. I feel like that you, I feel like you are just kind of overwhelmed about leaving them out, maybe. But the Four of Pentacles, you guys will know, right? Four of Pentacles, in the reverse, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, rather, and the Five of Wands here, showing up in what's affecting you on a conscious level, you're, you're letting something go here. So I feel like you are, you know, um, I feel like in the past you could have been resisting somebody leaving you out or leaving them out. But I feel like this is just if, about you are overwhelmed about the situation. I feel like in the past you were defending yourself in a situation here, right? Maybe where you left somebody out or they left you out, uh, just depending here. And, um, you know, I feel like there is, you know, other people involved with the Five of Wands here. You're letting the situation go, but you're still conflicted about it. You're still stuck with the Eight of Swords. Like... You know, you want to do this. You want to let them go. This is why over here, maybe in the recent past, you were resisting it, right? Yeah. I feel like you're totally conflicted about it. You're stuck here. Yeah. You feel restricted about it, okay? Uh, but I feel like you are letting them, letting somebody go, okay? Or damn near close, okay? In the near future, the Sun card with the High Priestess in the reverse and the Nine of Wands, I feel like you're, you're wounded. You're the wounded warrior here. In the near future, Capricorn, you're carrying baggage, you're super guarded, right? You could be a little paranoid, maybe. But I feel like something is being illuminated for you in the near future here. Yeah, with the sun and the high priestess in the reverse, I feel like there's a secret here and that it will be illuminated. Wow, and it's going to, you know, it's going to bring you this, uh, this guarded energy. It's going to cause you to feel guarded here. You're seeing yourself as a three of pentacles in the... Uh, the Ten of Wands here, and also the Star card. I feel like you're seeing yourself, as seeing yourself rather as, you know, healing from a burden here, possibly from a third party, or possibly from, you know, maybe you were trying to work on something with somebody. Yeah, you could have been trying to, you know, work on some something with somebody. I feel like you're healing. You're seeing yourself as healing here. Yeah. Okay. In your environment, Capricorn, you have the Page of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Swords in the reverse. So this is hard for you to make a decision here, or there's somebody who is a liar, either one, in your environment here. Um, or maybe somebody who can't make up their mind themselves, right? Uh, I feel like this is what this is. It is, this could be you or the other person, having a hard time making a decision here, um... Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles, too, and the Page of Wands, about a new path, right? About a new path, about a new direction, about change. This makes a lot of sense because over here, I feel like you are stuck about letting somebody go or letting a situation go here. And in the past, I feel like you could have been resisting doing that. Yeah, wow. Now, your hopes and fears are the Four of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Five of Swords here. I think you just want to move on and recover here. Yeah, from somebody who was playing mind games, maybe. Or just from a situation where you felt lost, right? It could be also from a uh, third party that you are wanting to get to calmer shores, right? Calmer waters here. Because the Five of Swords traditionally has three people here, which can talk about third party energy here, okay? I feel like there is third party energy here. Um... Yeah, I'm going to leave the reading there, Capricorn. I'm going to be going over to Vimeo to, you know, reveal uh, much more here, talking about the the connection itself, right, the energy that is, you know, ruminating or, you know, also your energy, their energy, the blocks and the advice for you and your person, okay, uh, Capricorn? Wishing you lots of power and light. And, um, yeah, if you guys want a private reading, it's always the best way to go. Uh, you can get one, and uh, they're $40, and you can get a second reading on your person or on you, or you can mix them up for only $25. Uh, that's the best way, really, to find out. If you guys want to watch all the extendeds, they're just $8.99, all right? Thank you so much.